And then finally in the news for this week, continuing with the Bloomberg Mark Gurman show, he has laid out in his latest newsletter what he thinks Apple will have in store for us in 2022. And while I don't think there are many big surprises in his predictions, there are some things in the the note that are kind of fun and interesting. Let's start out with the one that's been out there a lot. There's a lot of buzz about it. Of course, I'm talking about Apple's first headset product that is expected to happen at near the end of 2022. It's expected to be a mixed augmented reality and virtual reality headset, as we've talked about many times here on the on the MacCast. Early focus, according to the analyst, is going to be three key areas, gaming, media consumption, and communication. He expects it to have multiple processors, a fan, extremely high resolution displays, and its own app store, which should appeal very, very nicely to game developers, especially on the virtual reality side. For media, he thinks Apple will work with media partners to develop VR content for the device. I have to wonder if some of this will leverage the relationships Apple has created with Apple TV+, Plus. maybe even be part of the Apple TV Plus service, actual AR, VR content, media content for the new headset. And then for communication, he sees an emojis and VR FaceTime like experiences that Apple will try to develop, probably trying to give us a better experience or a enhanced experience from what we've moved into in this age of working remotely, connecting remotely. We know it's not going to be cheap. The The initial price tag for this new headset is somewhere, it's predicted to be somewhere around $3,000 US. So you're definitely going to have to want to jump in on this early. And that actually helps Apple a little bit. I think it gives them some time to refine the experiences and uh, really make a great product. Since right now the thinking is that Apple will start ramping up production in the second quarter of 2022 for a fourth quarter launch. So expect that later in the year.